Ooh, okay. It's almost synth wavy. Okay. This is a lot of fun. Immediately. And a heavy, of course. Can't forget about that. It's a lot of fun. The pacing of the album is first track, and then six singles back to back, and then some new songs. It's setting a good tone for the album, I feel. <laughs> so fun. The whole entire crowd was singing the song so loud. It was recently at a live show of Wind Wakers, actually, the first ever in Canada. Even managed to fit in a little heavy section in this song. <laughs> so good. <laughs> so fucking good. Such a random transition. It's such a chaotic mess. <laughs> In the best way possible, don't get me wrong. These songs are so awesome. This is a summer banger, man. Middle of the summer. 35 degree weather. This is it. This is where you play. I don't care. This song is amazing. I really don't care. It's too good. All I wanna do is break the rules. This one's a bit messy. It's probably my least favorite single, but it's just like, you know, it's one of those. Yeah, it's like a, it's almost an interlude, this song. It's so, you know? <laughs> you can't just die, 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 die. No <laughs> Emotional, slower banger, more serious song for a change. I respect it. Good hair. I enjoy this chorus. The repetition on it is cool. Mm. 
This production is so nice. Got him! Got him! Got him! Got him! Hey, hey. A little build up. But we all know what's on the other side. And then the song ends on one of the most unexpected twists you've ever heard. A little rap section. I've heard people say that they hated this. I love it. <laughs> so that was track number seven. We're halfway through the album. Master water glazes over your reflection. Sometimes I wish we never met cause you always harm me Always me Oh, we're getting weird with the second half of the album. We're getting weird. All right. That's so cool because he says vertigo and then he's like spinning. That's so fucking genius. Hey, holy shit. So far, so good, Wind Waker. It's so poppy. Crazy. Actually getting so weird in the second half. Unlike anything we've heard in the first. That reminds me of some breakdown. A cool song. It's a bit slower, but it's very creative. Old boys back on track with the villain flow. Haters try to step to me, but that shit's on original. On the go, on the go, on the go. What did you say was that audible? Got it all, got it all, got it all. I'm getting the back when I come for y'all. I'm a rider. If you love and trouble, make your mind up. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh my god, bro. <laughs> Resident Eminem and up in this bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop it. I'm throwing in the towel. This is it. This is a fever. I can't wake up. I'm a goat, I'm a goat, I'm a goat. <laughs> That's fucking insane, bro. What you talking about? I've been around these bands. All these people come and go, but it's pretend. I do 
and I claim to know anything. Sabala Russell was everything. Ooh. Holy shit. There's something about this chorus that's really fucking cool. Climb up the mountain, wipe off the ground, and get on the make that work shit. Last track of the album, Juliet, track number 13. And that is Hyperviolence. Well, ladies and gents, that was Wind Waker's new album, Hyperviolence. 13 songs, 42 minutes. It almost feels like after that get out um, rap twist in the end of the song, the album completely shifted the vibe towards a more like kind of almost mumble rap, uh, trap metal direction. And it made some very, very weird sounds and combinations of styles and music that I wasn't maybe expecting fully, but I was really fucking into. <laughs> I need more time with this album, but I mean, from, from the first listen, I could already tell there are some bangers here that I'm, I'll be listening to a lot. Haunting Me and Juliet are more of a interlude slash closer tracks. They don't really feel like full complete songs, but the other four, uh, I guess five, including the opening track, new songs that we've heard today, we're fucking awesome, man. <laughs> like I said, there is a very, very clear shift in the middle of the album from the hyper pop, electronic, metal, metalcore. And it makes, again, it makes for a very interesting sound. It makes for a very interesting new, fresh style uh, for Wind Waker. It doesn't really sound like uh, the last album, Love Language. It sounds completely individual and new. And hey, I mean, to each their own. I'm sure there's going to be people who are going to hate this. <laughs> hate it. Um, but I loved it. So that's all that matters. Um, Wind Waker. Hyper violence. More like... I couldn't think of a joke. Did you like it? Did you enjoy this album with me? Let me know in the comments down below. Don't be shy. Go in the comments. Tell me what you think. But that is all for me. Thank you so much for watching. Love you all. Watch some more stuff. Subscribe to the channel do all the fun stuff all the bells and links and stuff i'm sure you can figure it out you're not a toddler i uh, love you all see you in the next one